Passengers fortunate enough to travel in the most comfortable and capable business aircraft rarely get to see what goes into the engineering and what it takes to keep them safely and reliably in service. It takes an army of highly skilled craftspeople and technicians to keep the private aviation show on the road, and that's a big investment for manufacturers who need to have capacity to support their products around the world. We took a rare opportunity to lift the lid on this aspect of the industry when we visited the Dassault Aviation Business Services facility in Geneva. With its extensive hangars, the former TAG Aviation Operation provides scheduled and unscheduled maintenance for the French manufacturer's entire family of business jets. It also supports multiple other types of business aircraft, including those made by Pilatus, and even competitors like Bombardier. For the mandated heavy maintenance C and D checks, aircraft have to be extensively disassembled to provide access to all the equipment and systems. The engines also have to be overhauled according to a schedule specified by each manufacturer and based on the number of hours flown or the number of cycles, with a cycle being each time an aircraft is started up and shut down. But just beyond the intense work being conducted in these hangars, specialists are engaged in more delicate work to ensure that Falcon cabin interiors are everything their customers have come to expect from them. Highly skilled teams work on every aspect of cabinetry, upholstery, and more. For example, if the aircraft has damage to its wooden veneers, the specialists can work to improve their appearance. And they have devised ways to make or repair seats and divans. This involves cutting new foam to size for each seat. At times, the work is more reminiscent of an haute couture atelier than an aircraft maintenance shop. Always looking for ways to improve the process, the DABS team has come up with a new approach to repairing and converting aircraft seats. While the task might seem straightforward, it can be very complex and time-consuming. Dassault technicians have reworked the structure of the seat so that it is more straightforward to disassemble and put back into service. The objective was to deliver something that was not existing uh, to support their 7X, most of which will have their 2 seat check due in the coming months and coming years. When you want to refurb, when you need to refurb your cabin, the key thing is the downtime. And we wanted to help customers to make their decision on what needs to be done in the aircraft in advance, so we could make the most of this advance notice, do most of the work before the aircraft comes to base for maintenance, and having our shop co-located in our maintenance facility, the key was to be able to install the seats, most of which would have been done ahead of aircraft induction to minimize aircraft downtime. And we can now do a refurb of your soft goods in the aircraft in a five weeks aircraft downtime thanks to this change of process. The process is being used to make it easier to access potential faults deep in the seat structure, but it is also proving helpful when the seat cushions need to be changed, perhaps to suit the preferences of a particular owner, or because it is going to be used for a different purpose, such as charter flights. Now it's a question of minutes instead of hours and sometimes days. Because the seat would need to be removed, but to remove the seat from the cabin you also need to remove some galleys. And this would take time, this would take expertise just to get this access or, or replace the seat that needs to be repaired. The design we've introduced, or the change of design, enable us to give access to anybody cabin crew, mechanics, can remove the backrest, get access to those mechanisms, fix it, troubleshoot, do what they have to do, and put it back on. So the first step is to lift the headrest. Okay. Step number two, which is very easy, is to unlock the locking mechanism so you can lift it out of its normal position. Step number three is to detach the back cover, the leather, from the seat. And step four is to also detach the leather from the, let's call it, inside pocket. Now we'll attach them to each other to make sure that they don't get in the way when I put it back on. And the last step, number five, is to just lift the backrest out of its position. And you can see there the lumbar support, the seatbelt mechanism, the frame that is exposed, 
depending on what you have to do, you could either replace the backrest and put the replacement or the different one back on, or you let the mechanics do the um, troubleshooting and mechanic, uh, mechanical device fixture repair or replacement before putting, putting the backrest back into position. So the key thing, the seat stays on board the aircraft. The DABS team is able to perform this intricate work because it has access to Dassault's database covering every detail of each aircraft design and manufacturing. It also holds the necessary Part 21 approval required by regulators. The company may extend the new process to other Falcon aircraft, including the 900 model and the newer 8X. Business aircraft manufacturers are always looking for ways to differentiate their products, which are generally fairly close in terms of key performance figures, such as range, capacity, and speed. Extra flexibility and creativity to optimize the passenger experience can make all the difference. <laughs>